Welcome to Finance and Excel video number 49. Hey, if you want to download this workbook for chapter 6 or the PDF for chapter 6, click on the link below the video and then scroll way down to the finance class section. Hey, sometimes um, we're given bond price or bond prices are quoted like this. So 1.00936 or 100.936%. Uh, or you might see it written like this. One year 10% coupon bond is priced at 100.936%. Uh, so from this information, we want to be able to make all of our calculations. Um, we can assume the face is 1,000. We can calculate the uh, coupon. We can calculate all this, including the yield to market. So let's go ahead over to Excel and see if we can do this. Now. Um, Years to yields to maturity. We got one. We're going to assume that it's uh, semi-annual, so our number of compounding periods n is two. Our face value assumed to be one thousand. We have a, a coupon rate of ten percent. We could calculate our um, interest payment. Let me do that right here. Just uh, equals 10% divided by our n times our face value. We'll do this from the point of view of the bond holder, right? So this is positive and this is positive. Of course, this is, whoop, of course, this right here is also called the uh, coupon. And then we can calculate our price. Interest payment equals coupon payment. And that's going to be our present value. And we can get that. Oh, we have to, um, I'm going to move this down here like that. And right here, I'm going to put quoted price. And then it is either 100% or 1.00936. We can now calculate. We just take our face, right, times the quoted price. And that has to be negative. So I'm going to put it into edit mode and put a negative. Now let's see. We have uh, so this one and this one are calculated. I'm going to right click and unminimize here. Okay, so we have cash flow one, uh, that one, that one. So we have three cash flows. So now we can calculate our uh, yield to market. But this will be yield to market divided by n, because uh, it'll be our period. So we'll do the rate function, NPER. Oh, we do not have that. I'm going to escape. I'm going to come right here and right click insert. Right click the uh, row header, not the cell. If you right click insert, you'll get something different. Right click insert. This will be equals this times this. And now we can use our rate function in PER. Our total number of periods. PMT, that is a positive. It's the bondholder's point of view, present value. That is our, our price derived from the face times the quoted price. Future value, we have that right there. Type, since this is a, um, N annuity or ordinary annuity, it's assumed if we leave that out um, that it is an N annuity. So we can simply put a close parenthesis and enter. So now that looks like 5%, but I'm going to increase the decimal there. Of course, we can calculate our yield to market. I notice that was auto complete there. Equals this one times our number of periods. And finally, we can also calculate our effective annual rate equals equals effect. You're never going to have trouble with the effect function 
as we mentioned before, if your n or n-p-e-r-y is an integer. It's when it's a decimal like when we did uh, our money tree example where we had a decimal here. That effect doesn't calculate it correctly. All right, but the, it's, this is an integer, so no problem. Now notice when we did it this way, we had a little extra bit uh, hanging out here. It was quoted straight at 9, but as an approximation, this works just fine. All right, so we saw how sometimes we're given a quoted price, and we got to calculate based on the face value and the actual quoted price for our actual price. And from those, we can calculate uh, period yield to market using rate, and of course, our effective annual rate using effect. All right, see you next video.